See you later, cows. Let's go taste some wine. Antler Village, home of the Biltmore Estate Winery, used to be the bustling hub of Biltmore's farming community. I totally stole that sentence from the informational sign in this very shot. Feel free to pause. We found ourselves pausing with wonder at all the amazing stuff around here. I mean, ooh, look at that. Chihuly installations nestled into the landscape. After several hours of exploring the incredible Biltmore House and the inspiring gardens, we figured why not take advantage of the free wine tasting included with admission. Little did we know it would lead to this charming and vibrant place where you can stare at fancy spitting fish fountains. Anyway, the Biltmore Winery is the most visited winery in the country. Take that, Napa Valley. In 1971, William Cecil, George Vanderbilt's grandson, presented his dream of a winery to the Biltmore Company Board of Directors. I also pilfered that sentence from an informational sign. Anyway, after many years, the winery officially became incorporated, and it took over the old dairy barn. So much for those cows from earlier in the video, right? Sorry, guys. No more barn for you. Wine is clearly the new milk. Did you want to say anything regarding the winery? Um, there's wine here. I'm going to drink it. I know. I think we might, uh, I think we might get a few bottles as well. I think we will have. Full disclosure, we bought two. Also full disclosure, we don't know a ton about grown-up grape juice. Thank goodness for sturdy stone corridors filled with information on how wine is made. And there's old William Cecil again, who eventually took over the entire Biltmore company. So he was like, I want my winery to be a big deal, guys. So, you know, they kept on growing the grapes and stomping on the grapes and fermenting them. But it seemed like something was missing. And, uh, it was a French guy. French wine master Philippe Jourdain was brought on board and he took the winery to a whole new level. And that leads us to the present and us drinking their amazing wine right now. Okay, this is the wine tasting room. We're gonna have some wine tasting. So let me welcome you all to the Biltmore State Winery Tasting Room. My name is Mary Beth. I'm going to be your tour guide this afternoon. We're going to tour through these wonderful wines from the Biltmore. On our left-hand page at the top, we have dry white wines. There is an additional Chardonnay, if you like Chardonnay. The next section is labeled semi-sweet. It's a little misleading because only two of them are semi-sweet. The two German-style ones, Riesling and Gewürztraminer. Mm -hmm. The other three two favorites. are mm -hmm. sweet, sweeter, and sweetest. <laughs> At the top of the next page, we have, unfortunately, only one rosé. The second rosé sold out. This Zinfandel is very fruity. It verges on sweet, but it's a semi-sweet. Now the reds are arranged from very light-bodied to full-bodied. All of the reds are dry. The very last red that's listed is Century Sweet Red. It is a dry, full-bodied red wine that's also sweet, served chilled. Oh wow, a red. Interesting. Now, people I like that. generally start in the whites, wine etiquette dictates, yeah. and then you go to the reds, sure. and you can enjoy between five and seven. Now, there are reserve wines today. We have the reserve Chardonnay, we have a reserve Pinot Noir, and we have a third Merlot. So, if you check off any of those, they're two furs, they're three furs. Mm -hmm. I will give you a moment or two to make up your little minds. I read upside down. Just <laughs> check the ones you want. Okay. And this will be so famous. we can check off five to seven complimentary. Yeah. Wonderful. And Unless if you, the reserve if, are, are the are those gray signals there? Is that signal? Is they're not distributed. Okay. Off the estate, they're only available here. However, they are also available online. Okay. Nice. And a stupid question, probably, but all of these wines are made here. All of the wines are correct? made here. Eighty okay. percent of our grapes are from California. Oh. 
There's a smattering from Washington State and Oregon. A couple of the reserve wines that are listed on the back flap are bottled on the vineyard grounds in California. Okay. The Dry Creek Valley and the Russian River Valley. Otherwise, everything comes here in their whole little grape bodies. Wonderful. And they are skinned and plucked and seated and smushed. And nice. I love how you say that. <laughs> smushed. Skinned and plucked and seated and smushed. But thank you very much. My pleasure. So we can have five to seven tastes. And I'm going to do the Riesling. I'm going to do the Century Sweet White. The limited release yeah, Gewitz demeanor, the limited re uh, release uh, Muscat, and over here I'm going to try the Merlot, I'm going to try the Zippendale, and then this is the one I'm really interested about, it is a Century Sweet Red, but it's actually a red wine and it is chilled. So I'm really looking forward to trying that one. So uh, to finish off a wonderful day at the Broadmoor, we just had that lovely wine tasting and we purchased two really, really great sweet white wines. We got the Biltmore Gavitz Demeanor, which is a limited reserve, and we also got the Biltmore Shannon Bois. Swananoa, say yes. that three times. Swananoa, Swananoa, Swananoa. Oh, you did good. I did much better at pronouncing the word Swananoa than I did at retaining information about winemaking. But hey, might as well just sit back and sip and leave that to the experts, right? So here's to you, Biltmore Winery. You displaced cows to make us tipsy. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. Arr!